The Prince Country Club roundabout. This is why I was trying to attach to the screen, but it was it was not um, cooperating with me. So this is a new roundabout at Prince and Country Club. Yeah. I had a question about the um, and if we do need to provide, like this is our opportunity to provide input on this and any you know concerns that we've got. We I had asked about what the plan was for cyclists. Terry, can you go into that like yeah. that plan there? So the the plan, so there's bike lanes there that as you as you enter the roundabout, you have a choice as a cyclist that you can still maintain your position and take the lane on the road and travel through the roundabout. However, like if I'm traveling with my family per se, there's transitions up onto the sidewalk where you enter the sidewalk and then you will cross at the crosswalks as a pedestrian and then there'll be another transition whichever exit you take where you could transition back out into the bike lane mm -hmm. and does that show in the drawing at all no the the drawing does not show that i had asked for okay yeah i had to ask for clarification it just shows the sidewalks and the transitions okay you I can see. see the transitions um mm -hmm. And then I just had to ask for clarification on how that's going to interact with with bikes. When you say transitions, how far? Is that that's the piece I'm looking at the square that's at the end of this, isn't it? Like the island, the yeah, island, the island. Are, like past the island. So I assume like that. Is that a transition? That's the transition up onto a sidewalk. Okay. Because that's your crossing yeah. right there. Yeah. I'm going to try this. It is, yeah, it's positioned further back where, um, kind of where the, you know, kind of before, I'd say about the place where the car is yield or whatever. It's right before you did. It's this one, but it wasn't, yeah. it worked last time, but not, it's not working. Anymore. Is it similar to the transitions like on prints, like the roundabouts on prints with the sidewalk runs along it? I'm just trying to remember those. Like I, I ride them all the time, but I just kind of stay in the lane on those and don't kind of pay attention to the transitions. I know the 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 new roundabout on Donaghy and uh, is it is it College Donaghy and College? It's kind of similar to that, except what's confusing about that to use as an example is we have the shared use path up on the sidewalk, but how. Once you get to it, you interact the same way as you do in that one, because that, even though you have the shared use path that goes in front of the, uh, the college, whenever you get there, you act as a pedestrian. You go through the pedestrian crosswalks to get around the, the, the roundabout, basically. So it's the same, same as that one. Gotcha. Yeah, I guess my question is, because there's not currently bike lanes into that intersection on Country Club, correct? There are bike lanes on Country Club. I think they kind of disappear once, well, they're on Country Club, but don't they disappear once you get to the intersection? They, they're about, they start about 50 feet back. Yeah, they they start right there by the school, the but they, they're pretty close. Right? Yeah, they get, they get you pretty close. <clears throat> yeah. Right. They, so they, the transition is going to be 50 feet back to be, either take the lane or to... There. I don't have the exact measurements, but the... Fun. Where they currently end, basically. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be close to that, yeah. And then for... The prints, bike lane should carry you to the transition. The transition, yeah. <laughs> stop, I think the transition stops right there at the school. Yeah. We get to the yeah. yeah. And then prints... Uh, I mean, there's not bike lanes on prints at that school point. school church, like, Oh, here we go. <clears throat> These are the transitions you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you would ride. I mean, that's for pedestrians, though. That's for like for ride. sidewalks. I don't know. What yeah. Why do I think so many sort of problems? So my feedback was that those would need to be. This is obviously preliminary, not approved. I think they're. 80% done with the design on this. Uh, and my feedback would be those transitions maybe need to be a little bit wider um, because they're at a 90 degree angle. That's, yeah, that's sidewalk. No, the, well, oh, this, oh, like that little yeah, parallel. That? That's what I was asking, like, what, what is that? 
That would make more is sense as like a transition. The transition? Yeah, I don't know what that is. That could be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I guess our feedback at this point is yeah. making sure that it's a nice, clean, easy transition to the sidewalk so that people know they could come in. The, my my question is if that was the actual transition that you don't I don't really see it in the other ones. But no. there's something here. It's it's like it's it doesn't there. look like there. these. Yeah. There's one up there. Yeah. Isn't it? I would have, yeah, that kind of seems like a transition. Like the first one definitely looks like a sidewalk. We don't know what that second piece is. Yeah, this says sidewalk. Yeah. Okay, so this is all sidewalk and it's it's wide. Um Is this like our one, our one shot for input? We can do it in email. Well, I mean, if, 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 yeah, if the input is, you know, we have questions on it, we can have continued dialogue on it. It's yeah, not, it's hard to have input here without knowing what exactly all these the pieces are here. That's kind of what I'm feeling like. Well, what about the bicycle overpass that goes in the, the clover loop that we yeah. add, you know, that the, it's got the right. escalator type thing so that it's easier to go up hills. So that's what I was thinking we were doing here. Yeah, yeah. I, maybe I was a different plan I was thinking about. But uh, yeah, I think that yeah. let's try to get some clarity on it. This doesn't look terrible to me if, if you can easily join in at an angle and get onto a sidewalk and then you have a clean crossing yeah. and then can like, sorry about this guys, not used to doing this yeah. at an angle. Yeah, that wouldn't be terrible, I don't think. Um, but we, I don't, I don't think we can tell from from this. This also feels too narrow here. Like if bikes are supposed to go on here and then this is a dip, that feels yeah. like it's a point that somebody could struggle and fall into the mm -hmm. into the lane there. You know what I mean? If it's if you really only can ride on this, yeah, bunch. those need to be wider to allow. Yeah, for. Cyclos to enter. I guess it's only one direction would be going this way, so it's not bi-directional, but still, it feels like if somebody's waiting to cross here, then a cyclist has no no room. To move. No room. It needs to be a little wider here. But yeah, I don't know. It doesn't look bad to me. If if that yeah right. So I guess let's just go back. Can you do that, Terry? Yeah. Okay. Hey, AJ, do you have any other concerns on that? Uh, no, yeah, I'm just curious what the, I don't know, yeah, I, it seems like any kind of, uh, if you're riding on Prince Street, like, it seems like the, the, the transitions are going to be most useful on Country Club, because if you're riding on Prince Street, I doubt someone's going to go from riding on Prince Street to taking the sidewalk to try all, to cross all the way over here. Yeah. I, if you're riding on Prince street, then you're, you're riding on the road, you know, you're not going to go take a sidewalk. Well, yeah. And Unless you're going down. Kind of like, right. you know, the, oh, I think true. it's still, yeah. yeah. One of the, one of the different points, different. like if you're traveling with a family, you're not riding down Prince street. Right. So, right. so this, this is probably a moonshot. I mean, my preference would be to have, you know, the outer, uh, an outer ring more like Dutch style where the the sidewalk there's a raised path that essentially is is the pedestrian and cyclist path um on the entire outside yeah but you know uh i'll let somebody else pitch that that's that's basically just out right exactly and it would be raised and you know a different well, how color far how different... far different is that from this well the, you, i think you, you can think it. about traffic maneuvering truck traffic maneuvering that's that's the intent to keep that circle radius or diameter where a semi-trailer semi -trailer bus can maneuver the fastest path through well, how, how i think it's you really you, you really, ride up on top of it that's what that's the intent too what it is yeah. now. I, and i think that's how that's designed is the yeah. semi-trailers or their tires are going to roll over the center of the roundabout just because they yeah that's fine. i mean we don't Oh, is there a sign island. that says that? Yeah, yeah they can travel yeah. the island or whatever. It's so like. yeah, so what I'm talking about would be like a raised section that that goes you know around the outside here, um, that is typically like a different color and either brick or stamped concrete that's a different texture that kind of differentiates it from. 
from roadway. So essentially, cars are crossing so a, here. a bike crossing, not bikes are crossing a roadway. It, it mm -hmm. creates kind of a different mindset um, that's you say, a little you put, safer. You saying it raise it? So They're saying. typically raised, yeah. Um, Here's one. Oh, but I'm just trying to understand how this is, like mentally how this is, because it, it seems like this is like the bike thing is a pure circle, mm -hmm. right? Whereas here, it's it's almost like this, but it feels like we would almost have that if this if these were just were defined. So if if this were the path was like a circle that just connected these things, mm -hmm. but I don't you know if that even, would you could even move these I think closer into the circle and get it a little bit more where you're using the current sidewalk right away that they have drawn here. I don't so think they're going to want to make it any bigger because you're going to get into that. Right, because then you're going to get into people's front yards. buying more real estate. Right. So that would be a, almost well. look like it's taking, taking, taking effectively yeah. a good <laughs> Buying, taking, everybody will look at it. Yeah. Uh, giving, Kirby Insurance is going to be unhappy about it. Giving, whatever you're doing. giving fair market value for offering fair market value? Yeah, for taking someone's parking. So yeah, no, I think, I think I'm not mistaken. I think part of the reason those crossings are a little further back is because of the the yield process. Yeah. Um, there's kind of a standard as far as where where folks are yielding at, and then they want them to yield for pedestrians and cyclists a little further back instead of in the middle of the roundabout. Yeah, the problem is is that I don't know where the yield signs are, but I have a feeling that they're in front of those current crossings, in which case cars are never going to... Well, they don't usually don't yield. Yeah. Right. Well, if you put the crossings in front of the yield signs, then they're yielding and they're, you know, you're going to see a yield sign and possibly a person standing there, which would be, with, be more ideal. Looking to the right, either when they're making that turn. Yeah. Which you get into, you know, they're, they're looking left yeah. where the flow of traffic's coming from. So, it, it, I mean, at the very yeah. least, I think we could at least start moving in that direction. It'd be nice to get, I don't know if there was any plans to kind of uh, do like the thermoplastic on the crossings. Um, I think stamping it with a, either doing like a concrete crossing, a stamped concrete crossing or something like that, at the very least at the current locations would be great. Um, oh, where the crossings are? Yeah, the current ones. Yeah, I mean, this is just, I, I, you know, I think. But ideally. Something I, to make I it a little bit safer. I, I like yeah. the circle kind of myself. I like the circle. I don't mind the circle. Um, I don't mind the circle. I do, and if it's this size, it's not really changing you right away that much, right? It's just basically changing the shape of your, your. You could even, exp yeah, you could. I mean, it'd be interesting to know cost-wise if it could be done, if not on this one, like just what, on the next one. what a cost one, whether it would cost more or less, because. Um, you know, we can go. I think it might be slightly more if you're going to make it a different material. It'll, um, it's in design now, and I think it'll start like later this summer. Construction. Well, I think it's worth summer. it's worth asking a question about that one. It's worth making a suggestion for sure. Yeah, I mean, like this one looks a little bit wider, right? Which does create land issues, right? And this one has a this See, has a pedestrian crossing that's separate from the bike one too. So right, and it looks like it's in front of your yield areas or. In the same area. That looks like if you took a right, you would almost run over someone. Right. On, yeah. on that one up there. She took the a picture you have, like when someone turns off, they're immediately turning into that pedestrian. Like, look how close that would be. Oh, right here. You're talking about yeah. the exit? Yeah, like when you exit out of that. Uh huh. Well, they're, yeah, it makes you much more aware whenever you're circled. Sure. I'm just thinking it's decreased. If you have a lot of people. Traveling now. Mm -hmm. that, that example there, there's a semi trailer would not be, be able to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which one? The last one? The first one? I don't know. It'd be interesting. I, I do think if we could do some more things with colors and make the things smooth. Yeah. Like here's another one that's, that's um, this one's closer. Uh, that's from a different design, but that's a little bit closer to what we've got where it's kind of swinging out and coming around like that. But. Anyway, I think we can do a better job on bikes and roundabouts for sure. So let's take an opportunity to try to do it for sure. 
I think the circle thing, it'd be interesting to know if there was good reason not to do it cost wise or whatever else. So, yeah, I guess my, and I can probably answer this myself, but my question would be where are the yield signs in relation to the crossings here? Let's see, are those marked anywhere? I don't think they are. I have a feeling they're in front. I do like roundabouts. I do. I think they're just uh, with pedestrians and cyclists crossing. They yeah. really are. Yeah. They really are. I am a big fan of them, and I think it's mm -hmm. a great place for one. They're just tough with the way you have to flow in and out of it, and you're not yeah. looking that direction. One at Prince is really tough for pedestrians, and it gets a lot of pedestrian traffic of how busy that roundabout is anyway, and like the people coming from Kroger, like walking northbound. Yeah. Uh, I've had I don't know how many people I immediately take that right and people are right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's I mean they're just really close and you tend to be going fast through that one. They're just up. Yeah. So that's how you get around it is you kind of have to slow traffic down to like five, ten miles sure. an hour, which is obviously not I not design goals, I think, on or were the design goals on some of ours that we currently yeah. have. It's no, no, I mean, definitely it's throughput because, right. yeah, I mean, I think that's the thing, like what the roundabouts do as much as anything else is we don't have to widen the streets because they can push more people yeah. through them, which is kind of what got me to thinking using all of the accessory streets to begin with, like, hey, like, don't take prints. Like, if you know, you know, like, let's, let's find another way to get there with a shared use path or with some other place just to try to keep cyclists you know in different places but like this is not that bad of traffic even even this far west on prince is is pretty you know it's not terrible yeah. right so um but uh all right well i think we've got some feedback on this so we can at least yeah. get some clarity on what it is yeah. and maybe we you know see if we so can understand there's why. no official recommendation at this time you just you just want more clarity on it so yeah. yep um, I mean, possibly a recommendation on can we get some kind of outer circle to make the the bike? I think maybe we need there. to make sure that people know that that is like a preferred, but whether it's a green routing or something, like I think it needs to be clear. Yeah, and some markings on the the pavement. Yeah, and the crop, like green or or red. Or yeah, whatever. I mean, some I green do. indication. I don't I don't know exactly what it would be, but I don't think it needs to cost. A fortune, as long as it's easy to get in, like to me, um, that's the most important thing for me. But. Yeah, and I know there was an issue on, is it Donaghy and College, the roundabout that they rode for the bike tour, mm -hmm. as far as knowing what to do um, yeah. as you approach it. So I don't know what the best way to address that is, but we may want to figure something out for that, have some kind of standard that we apply across the, the roundabout design. Yeah. Okay. Sorry guys, where is that, is that here? I think one of the things yeah, in talking with the street engineers is like every intersection has its own challenges, so it's tough to just stamp it and say there's a consistent system design design to it well at least some kind of yeah. marking so that yeah. cyclists know they can yeah. either go up or yeah i think that one is a simple we just need to do some marking on the on the some signage and some marking on it i think they came down in college i mean it's going to be the same for both directions but yeah this one it looks like you just have to make the decision yeah i typically I hear, yeah <laughs> Right. Mm -hmm. Kind of like my point on that is if I'm traveling with my kids, I stay on the sidewalk and use it. But whenever I'm riding, I'm on the shared use and I jump out at that drive and enter the lane. And Here, I just use, yeah. basically? Well, further up, where the right up there, right where, almost where your cursor is. Okay, right here. Okay. I kind of, you know, I do a shoulder check and enter traffic there and use a roundabout like a car. Okay. Yeah, you right. kind of have the benefit there of of knowing what it is, though. So if you're yeah. thinking about it from a perspective of, like, when they did the bike tour, 
like nobody had done it before. Yeah. And you just kind of roll up on it, and it's like, well, you, that's what, like I made the decision too late. It's like, oh no, I'm going through a traffic circle, and I wasn't ready for that. Yeah, so. I was with them, and I knew what they were going to do, and so I'd let them go to the ride, and I bailed off and just showed them kind of that or whatever, just so they yeah saw it. But yeah, it was a point of discussion. We stopped, talked about it. Yeah, I think yeah, you really have to think about this from a perspective of a person who's you know. Who we just encourage to to ride yeah. their bike more, oh, yeah. and I they're agree. like, "Okay, I'm going to try it," and then they find themselves in a traffic circle. Like that's yeah. going to be a bad first experience. No, so. totally. And this is this is another reason for me. Like, hey, like Mitchell, right? Just is amazing, right? Like everybody can figure it out. It's very straightforward. So I think it's just something we have. To, like, I'm not saying we draw the map or print it like today. I just think it it, it like to me what we don't want to do is paint ourselves to a point with roundabouts that like bike infrastructure is hard. I think it's like, hey, let's define the bike infrastructure where we know we've got routes and if we need to be especially accommodating on a roundabout or two because there's no other option there, then like that would be like, oh, hey, we've got to have the Dutch roundabout here because it's not that much traffic and because like there's no other bike, you know, yeah. out west that gets more problematic because we we lost our, call it early 20th century grid in favor of, you know, cul-de-sac planning in in the, you know, 70s and 80s and so there there isn't as much connectivity out out here so we may need you know a few more accommodations or something like that eventually but uh yeah i'd love to say dutch roundabouts on all of them but i i agree i think it's hard to <laughs> it's hard to <laughs> just convince. start over <laughs> yeah if, if we've got a better option i think that makes sense if we don't then let's you know let's focus on good designs going forward yeah, yeah i think that's i think it's a fair point so this one it sounds like let's get some clarity on it and then mm-hmm. you know maybe we can Maybe we can figure that out. I'm happy to spend more time on the map. So, is there a formal recommendation on ensuring that the sidewalks are wide enough at pedestrian crossing points too? I, know I would say up. we definitely want to make sure that they are. That is one thing for sure that that the entrance point is easy for people to get on without stopping and having to make a hard right turn. Like I think it has to be a nice obtuse angle so that people can easily get into them. Like on Sixth Street, they did on Sixth Street. Okay. I haven't read there, example. but it's yeah. it's an easy one. Yeah, mm-hmm. so it shouldn't be like stopping and turning right because that's that's a wreck waiting to happen. Um, and then, yeah, I guess the question is if it could be, do we need to route out quite as far as this shows, or could it be a little bit more round, like so it's a little bit narrower? I'm sure there's a reason why they put these things way out here. Just so that people, I mean, I was crossing the roundabout at Hark Rider and Winfield, and somebody just stopped right in the middle of the, uh, the right in the middle. Like I got around and I just thought they didn't know what they were doing. So I honked at them, and it turns out there was like this, like, like tiny old man, like crossing like the slow as possible, you know? And uh, I just honked at the old guy. I didn't see him. But like literally the whole roundabout just froze because this guy, you know, like took, you know, 45 seconds to cross, you know, the, the thing. So I, I felt like a real, real horse's ass for sure. So <laughs> it was a good humbling moment for me. So, uh, okay. We've got a lot still to cover. I, are we good on, on this? Yeah. Okay. Um, 